Hi, this is Steve Nicola out from Coach Baseball Right. Today's uh, video, I want to talk to you a little bit about pitching and uh, some real basic things you can do to get your pitchers going when you start your workouts. Um, the first thing I do when my pitchers throw is I have them play catch for a purpose. Uh, and what that means to me is, is that um, when they begin to play catch, I immediately sort of use some lines and I, I get them to um, take a step towards their target on a line. So imagine a T and uh, the pitcher's pivot foot is on the T where the two lines intersect. His front foot will land when he throws on the line as the line goes towards his target. So I like to line up his, his bottom side. Um, as he begins to play catch and he gets his bottom half lined up, so to speak, he's stepping in the proper direction, um, he begins to play catch for a purpose, which means every time he throws the ball, he should be throwing to a target. His partner should hold his glove on here, or his glove on here, and the pitcher should do his best to try to throw the ball on the proper side of his target. After he gets real good throwing the ball on the proper sides, he actually can go one, two, three, and four. He can go to four different spots, but when you first start off, just the proper side is great. As he's playing catch for a purpose, uh, he also can experiment with his grips. His two-seam grip where the ball will run, his four-seam grip where the ball is going to have a tendency to stay straight, and as well as his change-up grip. So playing catch becomes playing catch for a purpose. Get the bottom half uh, lined up, start to throw to some spots. What does it feel like to get the ball to the different spots? And then go ahead and experiment on your grips. Uh, long toss is a really, really important thing. So our kids try to play catch and they try to, as they go out and expand long toss, they put a little air underneath their throw and they get out to a spot where they're, you know, they're working. If, 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 if they work any harder, it's going to be very taxing. So that's about as far as you want them to go. And then when they come in, they should begin to take that air out more of a line drive. And the last third of when they're coming in, they're throwing the ball really belly button down to their target. Um, now, once you have um, long toss established at a certain distance, say the little guy starts off at, at uh, 90 feet long toss, that's where he got to before it began kind of taxing. Then as he continues through the season, he goes from 90 to maybe 95, 95 to 100 feet, 100 to 105, and you try to play long toss uh, you know, at least maybe once a week. If you're a dad and you're at home with your kid, I try to play long toss maybe twice, three times a week. Um, so again, playing catch for a purpose and long toss. Um, the next thing you can kind of do is get your kid acclimated to throwing a bullpen. And when he throws a bullpen, you, you sort of do it a certain way. Um, the first half of our bullpen, we're trying to hit spots. We're trying to block our pitches and hit spots, whether it be outside, whether it be inside and low, inside and high, um, throwing our changeup down the middle, we're blocking pitches, which means we're throwing, say, three pitches at the same spot in a row, getting a feel for what it feels like to hit that spot, and we move to another spot. Um, so we, first half of our, our bullpen, we actually um, hit spots and block our pitches. The second half, I like to chart, and I like our pitchers to, um, it's kind of like playing catch when you're a little kid and playing um, pitch and catch where the catcher calls strikes. That's what really what we kind of do. We, we allow pitchers to throw to hitters and I like to chart to see um, how many strikes they threw on strike one and I like to see what the count is after three pitches. Is the pitcher ahead in the count or behind and does the pitcher ultimately walk or strike out the guy, the imaginary hitter. So when we throw a bullpen we throw it for a purpose. So playing catch for a purpose Okay, uh, making sure that we, we um, do some long toss, we learn how to throw a bullpen, okay, and the last thing that we try to do is, is do pitcher's fielding practice, where pitchers learn how to cover first base, they learn how to do the back end of a 3-6-3 double play covering first base, they learn how to um, uh, field bunts and make throws to first base or second base or third base. Um, you know, we work on our pickoff moves, both from the windup and the stretch. The pitcher's fielding practice, that's very, very important. So those are the things that we try to do when we're, we're working on our pitching. Hey, I hope this helps, and uh, don't forget to check out uh, some other great 
great products over at coachbaseballright.com.